This is the most produced fighter jet in the Western world. 27 countries own and actively use this fighter for military use, and there's a reason for it. After heavy maintenance costs of Tomcats were wearing thin on the US's very low military budget, the US set out to design a light fighter, purpose-built for 9G turns, a top speed at two times the speed of sound, bubble canopy for extreme levels of situational awareness, 29,000 pounds of thrust, and a name so lame they changed it to an entire different animal. First, it was the Light Fighter, then the Fighting Falcon, and today, the Viper. Fun fact, there are actually two aircraft that competed to be the light fighter. One's the, the YF-16, which is the F-16. You know what the other one was? Who's that Pokemon? It's the YF-17, it's a horny boy. It's him, this is earlier. I flew the F-16 before in DCS. It was a, like a year ago, and I made a video where I barely learned how to do a shitty job at Seed and the, and the thing, but then 2022 rolled around and I knew I needed to finally revisit it. I need to get good at this plane, like I did with the Tomcat, the Hornet, the Flanker. So I jumped in a training mission and slowly and boringly spent my time reading through the guides on how to exactly fly to the, no! That's not the way to do it, you just, you go hard. You go, you're flying a Viper. What? All right, you go straight into PvP and you die a lot until you die less a lot. I promise you'll get a lot better, a lot faster, learn the basics of radar, learn how to notch. Holy shit. Learn the difference between up and down. Chaff and flares, and then just put your face right in the meat grinder. F-16, what's so special about it? What do I need to know? Will you download Chuck's Guide to find out and, uh, and go fast? Okay, Alexa. Hey, turn on the best game I just discovered last week's soundtrack. Sorry, this is just me going. <laughs> Today, we're taking the F-16 straight into Growling Sidewinder PvP server, and I'm gonna wreck some heckin'- Oh. Oh, there's other ACM modes? I like Vertical Scan because it reminds me of my one true love. But this plane is fast. You have to utilize- You have to utilize its acceleration and speed to throw your missiles at enemies at supersonic speeds. That's the advantage you have to utilize to win fights here. You don't have electro-optical cameras to lock onto somebody without actually, well, locking onto them. You don't have the massive amount of pylon count as an F-18. And you can't shoot phoenixes from 60 miles away with the Tomcat. But this plane does have one advantage. All the way to the parts required for carrier landings deleted. Replaced by one thing. Speed. As per my usual style of play, we're flying directly into the valleys of the Caucasus mountain range, using our agility in this plane to weave in between the valleys out of radar visibility and pop up behind people and stab them in the back. So on my first day of PvP, let's see how we do. I've got bandits behind me to my left. One's coming at me. I'm gonna get above and around this pretty quick. An F-18. I saw it on RWR. Trying to sway for the vertical scan. Maybe he's in this valley behind? No? Maybe he went south? Uh, I'm gonna try to check out the valley here. I mean, my SA... I don't know. I thought that was him down here. Maybe he... Just getting make 29 nails. Okay, I'll go check for this. Maybe this is him. Maybe I just lost him on the scope. Oh? Oh, yep, there he is. And 
Fox 3. Hopefully that hits. That's a pretty good shot. I'm, I'm just going to go right for this next guy. He's up very high. I don't think he's going to be able to dodge that anyways. Oh, yeah, what am I locking? Hit the, old, the other guy? Oh, yep, yeah, he's dead. There's the smoke. If you're wondering about how I find bandits out in the mountains, this page off to my right side is actually giving me information that I can't see. There's an AWACS plane on our team, a big radar plane. It emits an extremely powerful radar beam that in high resolution can find all of the reflecting radar beams coming back from planes flying around the mountain range. It then sends that traffic back to me as a bandit marked position and I can go chase that and find it with my own short range radar. Any vertical work? I don't know. He's low. Might be just over this mountain. Just over th there he is. Yeah, just within range of Fox 3, the AIM 9X wouldn't have reached him at this low of an altitude, though. Let's see if that hits. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's get down. We burned a lot of fuel there. <laughs> Two guys up this way. I'm just gonna try to get low. Ooh, they're very close. Oh, yep, there's one up high. The lock. It might be a pretty far fox, too, but I've got three of them, and I don't think I'm going to live very long here. So, friendly SA 10 is nailing us. Apparently. There's F 15 to my left, though, that's scary. Who are you? Not a friendly. Maybe this is the same guy I just shot at. All right, Fox 2. Please don't hit the tree. Good, it didn't hit the tree. And he just happened to do a turn. That was lucky. That was lucky. What did I just see? I did, whoa. No, please. Where's that front? It's from the front. I'm going to go to Valley right. See if I can cut it off in this mountain. I don't know who sent that one. Might be that guy... Outside my SA. Where, where, where are you? 15,000. Okay, buddy. Come here. Come on. Oh, it's a lot of G's. Box two. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, man. Let's go, baby. Woo! Oh no, not a friendly missile. Please not a friendly aim 120. No, please. Oh no. Jeez. Uh, uh, Looking back on this fight, there's a few things I could have done better. I could have played more defensively and been less offensive. I was running over huge valleys, chasing people down. If I waited and was more patient for my kills and didn't want to be so bloodthirsty, I probably would have been able to survive this. But you know what? Sometimes when you're trying out a new plane, you just have fun and it's a good time. And you just got to keep running after those bandits to get those sweet, sweet kills. Problem is, of course, this friendly behind me shot his AIM-120 and was going for the bandit that I eventually killed. But I was so close to the bandit when I killed it that the AIM-120 then locked onto me, distracted me from the fact that there was a bandit very close to my right. So in the end, was it my fault? No way, the friendly F-16 should suck on my d
Okay, binding something for this button is amazing. If you have a HOTAS, make a dedicated button for the emergency storage jettison, because it's so nice. So, I just, all I have to do to dump my fuel bags is just literally slap the side of my joystick. There's this huge spinner that also is technically, I guess, a button. I can just literally slap the side of my throttle and uh, all the tanks just instantly release. So fast, so quick. Very, uh, very, very quick and easy for the brain to do while also trying to dodge missiles and stuff. So definitely have an easy way to uh, dump your fuel. It's an interesting plane to curve around the mountains with though. Like, it's very easy to control. I think it's probably, uh, if the F-18 isn't the easiest, this is the easiest plane to like control in the whole game. Like if you're getting into DCS, this is a good one to start off on. It does have a bit of buttons you have to press during air combat, but the actual flight control is very simple. But it also almost like lacks character because of that, you know? You get to the point where you're like, you're pretty good at flying. Like I can fly the Tomcat, I can fly some MiGs, I can fly the flankers. Like I guess the flankers are pretty simple, but it it it's almost like going back to a smart car after driving, you know, rusty muscle cars for a bit, and it's, it's, it's an interesting, interesting feeling. I think this guy's attracted to, not me, but this other guy, which is good, but he's getting within ACM range. He's still flying at 20,000, though. 19,000, 18,000, 17, 16, he's diving left now? It's weird, his radar stuff is going whack. I'm going to ACM. Is this the big valley? Yes. Okay, good. Guess we'll get into it. died. Oh, shoot! Fox 3? Yep, got him. Something just... I think that was his sonic boom, actually. Just hitting me. Okay. Man, this... It's interesting, you... When you're changing planes, the SA pages are always different sizes. And although there is a scale, and if you're looking at it closely, you can kind of figure out how far everything is, it's still... Everything surprises you. On the F-16, everything's surprising me how close these things are getting. Like this guy. Can I bore sight him? Can I, can I get him like this? There we go. Perfect. Fox 3. I don't know how these guys don't know I'm here. Seemingly. Splash. Man, quick kills. Quick, quick kills. Let's get back in the mountains. We've still got our bags on too. <laughs> we need to run. I feel like someone's being sneaky. <laughs> Yeah, that is one thing that I'm noticing, is that this thing is fast. I'm fully loaded, three bags right now. I've still got some missiles on, but missiles shouldn't drag that much. But this thing just, it you can let off the throttle, and you're still just soaring through the valleys with, it. I don't know, it just feels so much less draggy than all the other planes that we fly. It's, it's definitely an advantage. Like, this thing can get, get going fast so quick and it can keep that speed just so, so much. There's a really cool HUD element too. If you look at the top left of my HUD, it says that there's an 18, and what that is, it's an F-18 that's pinging me on my RWR. And there's a little circle with a little hole in it, and if I bring that hole over to where the diamond is, it'll point my head towards where the F-16 or F-18, whatever's nailing me the most, is located at. So this guy over here was just nailing us. 
and it was pointing me to him, which is a very, very cool awareness system in the game. And he actually might... I don't know. Are we too high to be able... I don't know why we're not locking him. Uh, he's a bit close, and I'm not able to lock him. I'm going to drop my bags and evade that. this tomcat or whatever this is he might shoot me at farther than 40 miles if you're up at 36,000 feet in the tomcat you can shoot at like 45 miles and nobody can outshoot you nobody's no, nobody else is shooting at 45 miles but you can I mean you can even shoot farther the Phoenix can go like 60 miles <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You guys better start scramming. F-14 go burr. <laughs> splash one, splash two, splash three. I'm just going to run. I don't even care. I don't even know how many kills I just got. Apparently, I got a lot. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, did I kill five? I got five kills! <laughs> That's the first plane that we actually PvP'd with in this game, was the F-14. I really want to go back to it and revisit it. Because it was a bunch of fun. Bunch of bunch of fun. This guy is barely even in my range. 36,000 feet. We're going to have to raise the greater altitude. But there's a lot of bandits coming up behind him, too. I might have to worry about them some more than this guy. Oh, wait, no, is this guy turning towards me? Oh, he's turning towards me. Yep, there we go. 33 mile shot. We've got mountains below us we can dive to. Oh, nope, he's turning. I don't think he fired either. Why am I using rudder? What, what is my brain? Why am I using rudder right now? Oh, oh, lost lock. I think he's too low. Yep. Let's get the full lock. Get the... There we go. Nope, he's flying away. He's going straight cold. He's running to his friends. One's at zero one, I think. The other's at zero five, zero four. So I'm going to have to look high and low right now if I want to kill these guys. I'm going to try to pull them to the mountains. I'm not going to attack that head on. Try to get them to come my way towards these mountains. Do you have any idea how fast I really am? I'm fast as fuck, boy! 4,500 pounds of fuel. Okay, zero three. They're all at zero three. I don't know why they're flying so low. I, would, I don't know what aircraft that is. Out in the open like that, it's just... It's really hard to fly low in NATO aircraft. Out in the open. You, you really have no advantage. You might as well fly high if you're out in the open. But they might have some valleys that I just don't really know of there. Alright, let's see. Full throttle. Let's see if the F-16 radar can actually find this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, like, one bar. There we go. <laughs> there we go, come on. Get the, get the lock, get the lock, get the lock, get the lock. Come on, get the solid lock. There we go. Alright. He's going left. He's turning left now. Oh, lost it, lost it. I think he notched. Pretty sure that's what just happened. I think I just got notched. Can I lock this guy, though? This 
guy's at zero five. I think the guy I was on might have died. That zero five might be a good target. Let me see. Yep, I'm just gonna get this quick shot off on him, wherever he is. There he is. Fox three, 12 miles. And I'm gonna run to the mountains. Ooh, keep him on the edge of my radar. Oh, that's gonna hit. That was a good shot. Okay, that's gonna hit, pretty dang sure. I'll look for smoke when I turn towards the bound and G-Force it. That didn't hit, I'm gonna be very, yep, there he goes. Yeah, that killed him, good, 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 good. I'm gonna run. Actually, I might get low and get sneaky here. I think I might be able to sneak up on these guys. If they, if they pull towards the mountains, there's gonna be enough elevation changes where they're gonna be, they might, they might think that I'm still up high, and I can get close. Oh, yeah, he's within freaking this, this range. Bingo, what do I got? I don't have any big sticks left. Just got small boys. Where is he, though? I wonder. Oh, yep, there he is. We're gonna lose him, I think, here. Yep, that's fine. He's trying to sit. Somehow we're locking him through the mountain there. You think he knows? All right, run home. We're out of fuel. 1,400 pounds. <laughs> Let's go. Man, that's fun. Man, that is fun. All right, let's go home. I was gonna try to go for guns, but I think he was very knowledgeable that I was right behind him right then. He was, uh, what am I locking? What the, what? Eh. Stop, stop, stop. Sidewinder, don't shoot anybody. Not on my accord. Not without me. One and shoot him. Alright. Woo! Trying to make it home. Yeah, we dropped our fuel bags way over that side of the mountains and we went all the way over here, mostly burning the entire time. That's the thing. <laughs> this thing is also pretty dang fuel efficient. You can burn so much when you're flying this thing. So, so much. What are we at now? We're at eight and two. First day, baby! First day! <laughs> Okay, what's our fuel? Oh, nothing. Our fuel is nothing. <laughs> We're about to run out of fuel. Like right now. Wow, did not know that. Can we land? Yeah, we can definitely land. I just need to slow down a lot. <laughs> Look down at the fuel gauge and it's just zero, 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 zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I was not looking at the fuel gauge until now. I am a Milsim simulator pilot, baby. Oh, there goes the engine. Oop. Bonk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, just cruising silently down the strip, baby. Yep, all the HUD's gone too. Might need to restart her up once I get fuel. I don't know how the main battery works or if there's backup power or something. Uh-oh, I have no nose wheel steering. Uh-oh, that's kind of a problem. I'm just trying to get off the runway with aerodynamics right now, but aerodynamics don't really work past freaking 5 miles an hour. Or below 5 miles an hour. And bonk. All right, we've we've made it. <laughs> Just gonna have to start her back up again. All right, main battery. Um, 
Here, off. Just turn it all off. <laughs> hey, it's uh, 440 in the morning, Drewski. Uh, I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, there's a lot of ones like it in my DCS playlist on my channel, or you can just go to my channel and find DCS videos. I've got a lot like this and more to come as well. So if you like the content, definitely subscribe to be notified of when I make new videos. And again, thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. That's pretty cool. And that does help on the, the algorithm and stuff. So I, I appreciate it a lot. This has been Drewski and I will see you in the next one. Now I can go to sleep.